Hey guys, thanks for clicking on the video. Today I have a special video for you guys. It's a little different than what I normally put out. Uh, today is the first of a series I'm gonna be doing about interviewing uh, some of my favorite content creators. And today we have Tristan. <laughs> What's up, guys? So, Tristan, thank you so much for being here. Oh, thanks for having me, man. I appreciate it. First so, guest, man. Yeah, no, thank you. Got to break the ice somehow. <laughs> yeah. uh, how did you get into the whole YouTube thing, and, and what do you, who do you look up to on YouTube? Oh man, I feel like this is a lot of people's answer. I'm going to say Casey Neistat, um, the condensed version of the story. Uh, I was working at this kind of, kind of dead end job at a warehouse, packing and shipping nursing equipment to nursing students, books, shirts, you name it. I shipped it, boxed and shipped it. Um, and I had this job for about a year and a half at the time, and then in January of 2017 um, is when I started watching Casey Neistat videos. I knew who he was, but I just never checked out his content. Daily vlogger, every time I got off work, 5 o'clock, I get home at 5.05 because my job is right there. Binge watch uh, Casey Neistat videos because it's not like there's any short shortage of his content because this was towards the end of his daily vlogs, and at the time he had, what, 500 daily, daily vlogs or something like that. Um, and so it got to a point to where like, okay, I think I can do this too. So from January to April, we would binge watch. And I'm like, I think I can do this too, but I don't wanna, I can't do it daily, I have a nine to five. And my wife, Steph, was like, yeah, but you can do something on the weekends. I'm like, you know what, you're right. And so like the next day, I maxed out a credit card. I bought an A6000 and a drone and a couple of other things. And we just, I just started, my first video was filmed on a GoPro Hero 3 going to Best Buy and buying camera gear. And that's, that's kinda how I got into it. I remember at one point, like I was just posting on Facebook, hey guys, help me get to 100 subscribers so I can have a custom YouTube name. And <laughs> here we are now, you know? So yeah, that's how I got started in, in, in the YouTube world. So thank you, Casey. So when did you start getting into e-bikes? Um, 2018 and the of course watching Casey I saw him on a Super 73 in one of his videos um, and that's how I got put on to Jesse who's a huge Super 73 advocate and that's how I, I wouldn't want to say it how did I happen to like discover e-bikes I just discovered Super 73 um, that's not to say I, I, I just wasn't familiar with e-bikes period I just saw this cool electric bike and I want it and it wasn't until after I bought my first Super 73 that I'm like, oh, there are different brands out there. It was like whatever I got my hands on first, and luckily it was Super 73. And that's not to shade any electric bikes out there. There's some awesome electric bikes out there that aren't Super 73, but this is, this is who I rock with, so, yeah. So speaking about Super 73, what, what do you think about the community? The community, first of all, it's crazy how the community just exploded and it's still exploding like I, I'll say this my first group ride was a day after I got my bike in October of 2018 it was a Halloween group ride um, I want to say that there were like maybe eight or nine of us and that was my first time meeting Andrew that was my first time meeting Elijah Paul the guys that we, we ride with today um, Aaron you know uh, but the next group ride I went on was maybe like several months later. So I, I felt like that wasn't like an official thing. First, I wanna say group ride, four people from Hollywood to Santa Monica. Second one, eight people, same route. Third one, 16. So it literally kept doubling, right? And it was all S1s, Z1s, S2s, OGs at the time, the, the legacy bikes. And ever since then, it's just been like, exponential growth to the point to where last week we had how many bikes? 91. Like 91. That's crazy. Right? And a lot of them have, have been huge. Like there was a ride, I want to say the last year or the year before, it was a champion ride in LA. That was 61 bikes. You know, these, and even now, like we, we put on these rides, oh, we'll have 30, 40, 50 people come out. No, we'll have like twice that. And so the community itself is full of amazing people. It's filled with creative people. And it's nice to have people that to ride with that have a common, we all share the same common interest, you know. Um, 
I haven't, I haven't made any, like, so I've, I feel like I've made lifelong friends with people in the Super 73 community, and that's something that when I moved here, out here, I'm not from here, all I wanted were, like, people who were cool, because I miss my friends in Atlanta, I want the same thing here, I've gotten that from Super 73, so that's, I guess that's a long answer for it. No, that's great. Well, you said you're not from here, where are you originally from? I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, l let me backtrack, I'm, I was born in Kansas, moved to Atlanta when I was 10. I lived in Atlanta for 15 years, so I say that I'm from Atlanta. Uh, I moved out here when I was 26. So it'll be 17 years on, I'm sorry, it'll be seven years in a, <laughs> it'll be seven years April 12th that I, when I drove out from Atlanta to California. So how did you become the president of the SoCal chapter of Super 73? So that all happened it was, it was kind of a shock to me because the thing is, is that I, I want to say the biggest reason is because of my videos that I do on Super 73. I've done countless videos about the bikes, whether it be group rides, making videos about the customs. And I guess because these videos help get the word out there, um, they probably saw me as a, a good ambassador for the brand. And so they, they named me the SoCal chapter president of Super 73. And it's kind of, the thing is that ever since the pandemic happened, you know, I haven't really been able to fully like embrace those duties um, but at one point they, they wanted to create a president for different regions around the country and I think hopefully that's still possible hopefully because there's there's people we knew people in New York um, we knew know people up in the Bay Area Dallas uh, I met up with uh, Mike from Dallas a couple weeks ago there's people all over the country that love the brand and should be should be in that role I think it's a great leadership role so Personally, I never saw myself as a leader, and so the fact that they saw that in me, it, it means a lot, and I'm really grateful that they gave me that opportunity. Right on. Yeah. So I know you have an RX, but yes. what other uh, Super 73 bikes do you own? So I have an S1, um, customized the hell out of that. Um, my wife also has a white S1 that she customized. Um, we did have a Z1 at one point. I bought her a Z1. Um, that was her first bike, but she wanted a little more kick. So uh, we sold the Z1 and I bought her an S1 and she's still like super happy with it. S2 coming soon, hopefully though. She wants that Hudson Blue S2. Oh, right on. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, like yeah, yeah. That's the bike I got. Yeah. So your wife has a Super 73, supports the whole e-bike obsession. Yeah, it's, it's funny because when I first found out the, about the bikes, I'm like, oh, Super 73, that's cool. Let me go to their website. And I saw their price, I'm like, whoa, okay. <laughs> I'm like, I know it's expensive. And so I showed it to Steph. She's like, yeah, you're not getting that. That bike is $2,000. You're not getting that. I'm like, dang. Okay. And so I kind of wrote it off. Whatever. And then like a couple months later, it was August 2018. They had their first official meetup um, at Fat Bike Rentals. And that was my first time seeing the bikes in person. And that was her first time seeing the bikes in person. And then she was like, okay, I get it. These are pretty cool. So like three days later, I said, screw it, I'm just gonna put this thing on credit card, get my first S1, and I got my bike again in October, a day before my first group ride, you know, so. She's down with it, she loves the community as much as I do. Hopefully she can get back out there, because every time we ride, it's like super early in the morning and she loves her sleep, so. Hopefully she can, she can join it, because all the rides that she has done with us, she's over the top happy about it. I so. remember her down at the San Diego group ride. Yeah, yeah, she yeah. Loved that. That's, she that's loved the first that time ride. I actually met her in person, so that was cool. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, explain that you are not the Super 73 guy. <laughs> um, I mean, going, going back to, I told you, like, when I first started my channel, I had no plan. You know, I just wanted to, like, share my life, vlog like Casey, just bum off Casey, but in my own little way. And then, um, Again, I'm a photographer by trade. Now I'm a photo photographer and a filmmaker by trade. And I made one video that's still my most viewed video on YouTube. It's uh, why you should be using Moment Lenses and Filmic Pro um, for mobile filmmaking. And that video just took off and I'm like, okay, so I think I found my niche. It's gonna be photo and video. Cause out of all these videos that I did, these are all duds compared to that one. If that's what's gonna take my YouTube channel to the next level, I'm doing that. But I also want to talk about tech too. Super 73, I think, is a tech company. They make electric bikes, you know? Um, and so 
the reason I made that video, I'm not the Super 73 guy, is because a lot of my videos, like, well, a lot of the, my videos that hit a lot lately are about Super 73. But what I'm also passionate about and what I still want my YouTube channel to be centered around is photo and video in tech. I'm always gonna post about Super 73. Anytime we go out on the ride, you can count on a video. Anytime I customize it, you can count on a video. Um, the title was clickbait. I'm not just the Super 73 guy. I still do these things too. So that's, that's why I made that video. I, I like that video. In fact, when I saw that, I was like, oh, I have to watch this right away. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah a lot of people were like, I, I posted the Instagram story and I got a whole bunch of DMs of people who saw it but didn't watch the video. They're like, wait, are you, are you leaving Super 73? Are you done with them? That's what the happened? first thought I had. Like, what happened? <laughs> what did they do? Or, but no, like, I'm not just the Super 73 guy, but I had to get people to click on well, it. Well, when you, you know? watch the video, you understand exactly. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. So no, no harm, no foul, man. I still love those guys. So how long have you been into tech and uh, like cameras and photography and whatnot? 19. 19 years old, bought my first camera. Um, 2021 20, is when I started taking it seriously. Like, wait a minute, I think I can actually do this for a living. So that's really short answer. So 19, I'm I turned 33 in June, so 14 years now. And film cameras, so you like film cameras, 35 millimeter film. 35 millimeter film. Um, my dad was huge on 35 millimeter film. There's tons of photos of me that at, at his house that he took with 35 millimeter. And he gave me his Canon AE-1 before I moved out here. Sorry, Dad, I have no idea where that camera is. <laughs> so uh, I ended up buying an Olympus OM-10 in 2016 to get back into it. I was in it for like a month or two, and then I, it kind of died off. Um, but then uh, I followed this guy on YouTube named uh, Volandis, and he is absolutely ridiculous with film. I'm like, okay. I think I want to get back into this and be as serious about film photography as I am about uh, photo and my YouTube channel. So I've been taking that, my Olympus OM-10 35 mil to just about every single ride we, we've done because I think it just brings a new essence and a new aesthetic, and I, I hate that word, but it, it's, it's the word. It just brings a new, fresh, but vintage look to our rides. These are. It's 2021. These are electric bikes being caught on film. I think that's a great dynamic. Oh, every so. every shot that you've ever sent to me that you've taken on our rides, I've loved it. So. Thank you. Thank I, you. That's awesome. I appreciate it. So what's next for you and your uh, YouTube career? I want to grow it, man. I want to grow this channel. I want that silver plaque <laughs> by the end of this year. The goal is 100,000 subscribers this year. I hope I can do it. It just, uh, this will be the year um, and I, I, I got this from, from a good friend of mine. There's donkeys and there's unicorns. All my videos so far have been donkeys. And that's not to say that they're bad. They're not bad videos. And I appreciate everyone that likes and watches and loves my, my content. But that, that unicorn needs to be a, is the, is a viral video. I need at least one viral video this year. And I think I can hit that. So that would, that would be... In my YouTube career, that would be the next step. Um, and hopefully at the end of all this, I can be a full-time content creator for myself with my own studio, um, doing whatever I want with, with different companies that I genuinely like, like Super 73. I think that's, that's the end goal, you know? And I wanna stay here and do it in Southern California. Team Android or Team Apple? Apple, dude. <laughs> what? <laughs> Apple all the way. <laughs> uh, did you ever go to college and um, if so what for yeah I, I went to college uh, at the University of West Georgia in Carrollton Georgia 50 miles west of Atlanta the most hick town you will ever <laughs> go to but that's where I went to college originally for business administration because you know when you're 18 years old you're like you hear oh if you major in business you can do everything BS so uh, after I, I went for a full year took a whole year off, went back, and changed my major to photography. So I have my bachelor's of fine arts in photography. That's really cool. Yeah. Right on. Yep. You're all, always traveling in all your stories on Instagram. So <laughs> I see you traveling all the time. So yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you traveling? That's, uh, that's, that's my, uh, my full-time gig. I, I travel and I produce uh, content. I, I produce vlogs. I uh, produce the podcast and just any type of filler content we need for my particular, my job, so, 
Yeah. Outside of content creation and photography, uh, do you have any other hobbies that, you know, besides Super 73 and... Um, playing video games, man. Like, I'm not a streamer. I'm not a hardcore What's your gamer, favorite video but, game? Uh, right now, Zelda Breath of the Wild. Outside of Madden and 2K and sport. I'm, I'm a huge sports nut, so I love my sports video games. But, like, I also love adventure games, and Zelda is what I'm on right now. I'm on that Zelda kick. And uh, you have a new dog? Yeah, Dizzy, our puppy. She, uh, at the time this video drops, I think she'll be 12 weeks old. She's, uh, How much has she torn up your house? She hasn't. She's actually really no. good. She's a Border Collie. Um, before we got her, we were doing our research, and it turns out that Border Collies, according to Google, is the number one smartest dog. So she's really smart, and she absolutely loves us, and we just adore her. Dizzy's, Dizzy's pretty awesome. She's growing pretty fast. Yeah. The other thing that's new in your life is a new truck. Just got a new truck, 2021 Tacoma, back in November. Still stoked on that. I can haul this thing a lot easier now. Two bikes in it. I can haul two bikes in it now, so whenever stuff jo does join us again, we won't have to drive separately. One car for my bike, one car for her bike. We can just drive together and haul both bikes. <laughs> so what do you see uh, in your future? What, what's, what's next for you? Um, you know, I think the, the next step for me in a broad sense is to be a full-time content creator. Um, the job that I have now, I, I love it a lot. And even the guy that I work for, he's like, I don't expect for you to be with me forever, which is awesome because I know he cares about my progression. So I, I want to progress to that point to where I'm no longer working for anyone but myself. I want to be a full-time content creator. I want my YouTube channel to, to be hot. You know, I want, I want as many subscribers as I can be blessed with. And living in my dream house with my wife, with the puppy, you know, just doing our thing, man, you know, just living life and enjoying life. And again, that was a broad answer, man, but that's, that's how I define success is living how you want on your own terms and not having to answer to anyone, you know, and being a positive influence and helping others, so. Well, yeah. Tristan, thank you so much for being here. I'm sure that uh, everybody watching is very appreciative that you came out and did this for us today. Uh, you had to break the ice. We had to break the ice on this interview thing. So <laughs> yeah. thank you very much. No, I appreciate you, and, man. Um, maybe we can take a little look around your bike real quick. Yeah, for sure. One last thing, dude. Like, I left this out, but I'm excited for you and the content you create because you've been on the Super 73 kick for almost a year now. And just on a whim, you started a YouTube channel and you're about to bust a thousand subscribers a lot faster than I did. And I think that's really dope, dude. So just keep up the good work, man, because... Thank you. You're one of my favorite content creators out there, outside of the photo and film world. Man, you know? so. that's huge, man. Thank yeah, you. yeah, yeah. I appreciate that of course, very much. Of course. Thank you. Yeah, of course. So um, unlike my S1, I haven't done much to this bike because I think it pretty much comes like fully equipped with everything that I like. Um, it's already the same color as my S1 that came in black, and I painted it uh, like a darker red color. But a lot of this stuff is from um, Elijah, AKA Blur Boundaries. Um, he makes a lot of custom equipment for Super 73. Um, the decals are his right here on the forks. Um, the seat is his as well, which is like really, really comfortable. Um, and he also made these plates, the Super 73 plates, um, with my Super 73 Instagram handle on it. Um, I also ch uh, changed out the pedals. I got red pedals on there and the mid-rise handlebars that Super 73 released, I have that on there too. Um, on the other side, you can't see it right here, but uh, I had Super 73 install the 10-speed kit, which makes a world of difference. Um, also, mirror right here, because I think I'm, I'm, I'm never going to ride a bike without mirrors. I think these are an absolute necessity, so for, for safety reasons, obviously. So I just recently installed uh, a mirror, and it happens to be from Elijah. So yeah, that's yeah, funny yeah, I got yeah. it. And, and speaking of the 10-speed, uh, if anybody's seen the uh, the off-road video, <laughs> uh, I basically was dying out of breath, and I'm like literally walking my bike up a hill along with everybody else, dying, like <laughs> really dying. And Tristan, I look back, and he is literally mm -hmm. pedaling <laughs> up the hill, no problem, chilling. Yeah. Probably in gear four, or I don't know anything about ten speeds, but <laughs> I won't say it's a must. Like if you're just cruising on the street all the time, I don't think you need to have it. But like if you're off-roading, like we were doing, if you do that regularly, 
it's really nice to have. Really, really nice to have. When it first came out, I saw everybody jump on it, and I looked at it and like, oh yeah, I don't need that. I'm always on the street. And then yeah. like two weeks that like two weeks later, I'm in this dirt area, yeah. and you're just rolling right by. It's me. hauling like, ass, oh, man. man. So yeah, again, it's not, it's not a must, really, but it's it's really nice to it's have. Th- yeah, you I know, can tell. Switching well, gears after easily. that, I think I want it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and those they they sold out in like an hour. Yeah, I know. Once they released, gotta wait for them to get back in stock. Yeah. All right. Well, anyways, thanks a lot again, man. I appreciate yeah, of course, it. Man. And uh, yeah. Catch you on the next ride. For sure. Peace. See you guys.